But we're back. Danny Flex to Joe Lee once again for seconds out. Um, Terry Harper has just retained her WBC Super Heavyweight title against the interim champion, Katarina Tanders. Yeah. And stoppage victory, a rarity okay. in the female game. I don't want to start off with a negative, but otherwise I might forget to say, in a men's fight, that would never have been a stoppage. Discuss. Oh, yeah. It dropped a bombshell on me there. Um, the thing is, uh, do you... Okay, give me some evidence before you... Before right, you, so imagine I, it's, a, it's a men's fight. The, yeah. uh, the losing box has been hurt of a body shot. Still hands up, still fighting back when possible. Nose bleeding profusely, but that's not uncommon. Um, takes a left hook, not rocked or anything, just a clean shot, and the referee steps in. And are you saying this like men's fight that you're talking about, completely one-sided throughout from the person who, who gets the stop? Is that, you're saying that doesn't happen in a men's fight? I'm not saying it never happens. I'm, yeah. I suppose what I am saying is that if it happened in a men's fight, it'd be controversial. It's, it wasn't controversial at all, though. And I don't think if that happened in a men's fight, it'd be controversial, really. I, I see um, commentators of BT and Sky, when a fight's so one-sided and, and as one-sided as that was, um, they say a lot with the men's fights, you know, this should be stopped now, it should have been stopped a few rounds, rounds ago, da 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 um, So I don't think it would have been controversial if a men's fight was stopped in that exact moment. But um, if it was a men's fight, then I agree there's a chance, yeah, it could have got, because I think it was it like 30 seconds left of the round. Um, so I guess that that's a talking point. But, yeah, um, I mean, she hadn't been down. She hadn't been seriously no hurt except for that one body shot. I don't know, you know, it, it was a methodical beating rather than like a, a shellacking. <laughs> and in fairness, yeah, going the distance for Fanders means a lot more for her. So, you know, it might... You know, it'd be better for her career because, um, you know, fighters sometimes want to walk away feeling that, you know, when they've gone the distance, they feel like they've done the best they can. But when you get uh, a technical decision, it's a bit more awkward for her. But, um, you know, it wasn't for me. It, it was it was the right time to call it. Fair enough. I mean, it was a complete performance by Terry Harper. I'm sure yeah. we can agree on that. She yeah. looks excellent from the start. A completely different fighter to the one who drew with Natasha Jonas back in fight camp now. A lot of that was probably down to how uh, good Natasha Jones yeah. was. Yeah. But, you know, she's come back from that mentally as well, emotionally, and just looked a completely different fighter. Yeah, Steffi Ball's game plan, um, you know, you've got to put it down to that. It was fantastic. She boxed really, really well at long range. Um, when she wanted to land that right hand, she just teared up with a nice left right, and it was beautiful throughout. Really early on, the, the right hand was was landing so much damage, and she really just marginalised anything that Thanders could do throughout the whole fight. She got very frustrated towards the end in Thanders, so um, it just kept working well and playing into Harper's hands to for her to land that body shot um, and end the fight in yeah, round eight. Was it round eight? Nine, I think. Nine. <laughs> round the, nine. The commentators yeah. were kind of inferring, well, not inferring, they were stating it outright, that Tanders wasn't really doing enough. And I kind of understood, like, she became quite reactive early on. She was trying to kind of nullify yeah. Harper rather than get her own offence going. So I got that. But it's not like she didn't try and switch it up. She tried to move her feet quicker. She tried to use feints. She tried to roll in inside. But everything yeah. she did, Harper seemed to have an answer for. They do get a lot of stick, the Sky commentators, and it is difficult to call a fight and comment out at the same time. Like, there's a lot of things you've got to do. Um, you know, it's not sticking up for them, but sometimes it's harder to see, like, the reason you've just put up there. Sometimes it's harder to see all the angles and call the fight and say what's happening sure. right now and judge the fight. It's just, it's, it's a tricky job to do, but you've got a point there as well. So it's something that you could have, you know, you, there's something that you could look at there and think, yeah, well, she wasn't necessarily, um, as they were saying, not doing anything and not doing enough. Yeah, I think there was probably frustration on their part that it wasn't a more competitive fight, which I completely understand. But I just thought even when she tried feints and rolling her way in, she was met with either a stiff jab or a short left hook, and then Harper would move away before the counters were there. You know, her lateral movement was really good, and it was a very basic performance, like in that she did the basics very, very well. Jab, right hand move, jab, right hand slip. And it's all she needed. It, she just did it very, very well. This is just what Terry Harper needed after a, a very tough fight for her. Um, 
in the fight against Jonah. She needed to build her confidence back up because although she was in a fantastic fight and it was the first tough fight of her career, in terms of her confidence and building that book back up again, I think she just needed a sort of a performance that was just so dominant, uh, to, you know, for her self belief. Because as as much as we knew it after that Jonas fight that she was ready for 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 some really tough tests, tougher than tonight, uh, I feel like now she will believe it more herself, which is always uh, always good to see. Yeah, and Tanders is the only person to have beaten Rachel Ball, of course, and. Ball's yeah. always said that Tanders was just too big for her. And I've watched the fight, and I think there's a lot to be said for that. She was kind of out-muscled. Yeah. Um, would, in the ring Ball tonight, she fight. looked like a smaller woman compared to Terry Harper. Yeah. Would Ball tonight beat Tanders? Do you feel like this? The I think Ball. Tanders is still too big. I think she's still too big for her. I think Ball's a super bantamweight, and, and Tanders is a, a super featherweight. You know, there's no... Close fight, but no, I think... Yeah, that, that... That's why it would put too of a factor on the fight, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I just think size difference there. But I think on, on kind of talent and everything, Tanders is a good fighter, but Harper proved that she's a level above. Um, mm. Just a very controlled, disciplined, intelligent performance. And yeah, Steffi Ball deserves a lot of credit for implementing the sensible game plan. But Harper deserves immense credit for carrying it out to perfection. Just what she needed, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, just... Um, it, for her confidence, as you said, but also just technically, you know, knowing that she can box in that way and keep it controlled. And yeah, who knows if she'd have if she'd have stuck to a game plan like that against Jonas, would it have been an easier night for her, or yeah. would Jonas have stepped it up again and, and it would still been very close? Maybe they are the sort of fighters they'll fight a hundred times and it'll always be close. Well, that's the thing, and it's onwards and upwards for Terry Harper from here. There's potent, loads of potential fights over in America uh, or domestically for her now. So, you know, it's looking, the future's looking bright for her. Yeah, good stuff. Right, guys, like last time, we want to hear what you think. How good was Terry Harper's performance? What did you think of the stoppage as well? Because that seems to be a bone of contention now. I'm, I might be the only one who thinks it anyway, but do, do you think it was a, I don't know, a soft stoppage? The fight was only going one way. There's no dispute in that. But, but yeah, let us know what you think anyway. And then... We'll see you again after Katie Taylor against Miriam Gutierrez. Catch you soon.